you with register number is A121 2090. This video about the answer to a social linguistic assignment related to gender and language. So please watch this video. Alright, for the question number one is what is relationship between gender and language? For the answer, the relationship between language and gender can be realized in three types of relationships according to Gradle and Jones, namely 1. Language reflects gender distribution The use of language is sensitive to lifestyle and interaction patterns so it is indicated that differences in social experience between men and women have certain effects on language behavior. Thus, language is seen as a Brazilian community. Linguistic differences are simply a reflection of social differences. And as long as society looks at men and women as varied and unequal, then differences in men's and women's languages will continue to exist. 2. Language creates gender distribution This view implies that language has an important role in the distribution and preservation of gender distribution. The way language is used in various social life contexts can project biases about men and women whose implication determine the, the expected social rules of men and women. This forms of notion that language and the discourse in which humans engage can save personality and social life. The speakers can learn the differentiation and categorization that is considered important in particular in a particular culture if they study linguistic differences. And last one, third, language and social structure influence each other. This notion shows how non-linguistic mechanisms are supported by linguistic features to maintain gender distribution. For example, one can see how language pro reproduces traditional concepts of femininity and masculinity. However, to see why these traditional concepts approaches women, social theory has something to do with the language. So, that's the answer for number one. Let's continue for question number two. Alright, for the question number two is what the role between gender and language? According to the Jensen in Upper diversity in human life requires language to be used in certain contexts which are different from one another. Therefore, every context of human life uses a certain language with a certain role of the king. As basic, Again, there is a set of rules that must be obeyed, which are the line in the deadline for implementing the game. Substantially, the use of language used by men, of course, there are differences with women, which language used by men is more based on logic than while the language used by women always involves feelings in various problems. Meanwhile, in each problem, women provide more symbolic language and do not provide direct direction to the problem objective, in contrast to men who use language directly to the point of the problem. In another part, when there is a meeting between men with, an, with other men, the direction of their conversation talks more about competition, work ethic, and 
those related to abilities where when women meet and communicate with other women, they place more emphasis on matters of soul or feelings and family and are even deeply affiliated with others. So that's the answer for question number two. And thank you. Alright. For the last question number three is what is the difference between gender and language? For the answer, gender refers to the social cultural dimension of a person as male or female. While language is a science system that contains terms, concepts, and general different labels. Language is also very influential on our perception and perspective about something. The language we use every day may be seen as a means of communication, but language is a means of socialization and preservation of attitudes and values. Even language affects the physical movement of humans who use it through the suggestions given by certain words that will have hidden powers that are useful for implementing values in society and encouraging people to take social action based on language beliefs. Much of the basis is the appearance of language differences. In speaking, women have a tendency to express meaning honestly through signals or speak style or meta messages. While men tend not to, they convey their intentions. Alright, those are all the answers to the questions my lecture has given me. And thank you for watching. See you.